Hey guys, so you know how I just kind of disappeared for like a couple weeks with no explanation? Do y'all want to know why? <laughs> Meet Norman! <laughs> so, hold on, hold on, let me, let me back the camera up so y'all can see his beautiful face. So, I have a new man in my life, and it's this creature. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we got a dog, and I wasn't really planning on it. Um, but when the universe hands you your literal dream dog, you don't say no. Uh, so I have always wanted a corgi. They're like my favorite breed. I love them. I have a farm. I've worked with a lot of corgis just because corgis are a very popular breed in the horse person world just because they're really good farm dogs. Um, but as somebody who works in like the shelter world, I never really thought that I would be able to stomach going to a breeder and the odds of a corgi showing up at a shelter are slim to none let alone at my shelter that i work at um so our local <laughs> can you tell he's he's a baby still um when our local spca gave us a call saying hey we have a purebred one-year-old corgi coming in do you guys have room because we're kind of their transfer when they are out of room and we were like we do indeed have a run and the head of our medical department is a corgi fan so <laughs> here he is <laughs> okay so this is norman if you can't tell uh he's a baby with very little manners that we are working on so basically all that i really know from his surrender is that the people who surrendered him sound like they never had a dog before let alone a working farm dog um and didn't know what to do with him because homeboy has zero manners if you can't hey if you can't tell, we're working on it. Um, no teeth. No teeth. We're getting there. We're getting there. So they basically just kind of got a really cute puppy, I'm guessing, and had no idea what was involved with uh, training a puppy, let alone training a very smart, high energy dog. Um, I know what that entails though. So he is a year old. He's a little chunky you can't tell by the being out of breath from just laying down. But we were kind of told that he had leash aggression issues. Um, so I basically wanted him to come into our shelter and I wanted to just kind of like evaluate him and get everybody's impression and see what we thought. Because I was like, I, I'm capable of training, but I wanna know what I'm getting into. We never saw it. Um, the SPCA said that he would crocodile roll, he bit through a bunch of leashes, he became super reactive on a leash because it sounds like he literally never had a collar or a leash on. We never saw any of that. The first day that he was there, I took him out, uh, me and like one of the dog caretakers, just put a slip lead on him and just walked him around. And obviously they weren't able to cat test him at the SPCA because they couldn't really do anything with him on a leash. Um, and he was fine with us. So we walked him into one of, oh bless you. We walked him into one of our cat buildings, no reaction to cats whatsoever. Cause that was obviously gonna be a deciding factor. Y'all know I have cats. Um, so I took him home. And we just kind of want to see how it would go. And uh, it's been about two weeks now. Um, so this is my dream dog. Uh, his name was Jin, uh, but he didn't know anything. He knew zero words. His name, he didn't know any commands whatsoever. Uh, so I had a running list of names that we liked, that both me and my husband liked. And we basically spent one night just calling him all of those names and he didn't react to a single one except for Norman. He immediately turned around and came running. So he kind of named himself. Um, so welcome to the family, Norman. Uh, he's doing really well. We learned how to sit in about five treats in like one session. Um, we're halfway to learning down, like lay down. I mean, he's close to the ground to begin with, so it's not that hard of a command. Um, we're in the process of crate training. We're in the throes of puppyhood essentially right now because even though he is fully grown, um, he knows nothing. And even though he has zero manners, he's very well behaved. Uh, he's pretty respectful and he listens really well. He basically just wants to be with us all the time. Um, he's testing his boundaries with the cats, which is to be expected. So I literally have like a baby gate splitting the house in half right now. So the cats have a place to escape from him because they can just go right under or right over. And uh, homeboy is uh, not tall enough to reach over anything. So even if they jump on the couch, he can't get to them. So he's doing really well with them. We've had zero issues with leashes. I bought a chain leash just in case he was like a leash biter. Never saw it. 
So we're kind of assuming SPCAs tend to be like a, a high traffic, high stress environment. And we're wondering if he was just very reactive to the environment specifically, um, because we have seen none of the issues. Um, he's very much an untrained puppy, but he's interested in learning. And that's basically all that I need in a dog to uh, know that it's gonna work out well. Norman, come here. So he knows his name very clearly. <laughs> he is a lab dog. Um, he's a little chunky. We're working on losing some weight, uh, but it's going really well. So yeah, long story short, we never really knew when we would ever be ready for another dog. And honestly, it's still a very touchy subject for us. Um, but again, this is kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity to get my dream dog. So I feel like the universe basically said, you're ready. And I said, I guess so. So we have been in the fun stages of like buying puppy stuff. We got him a crate. We're working on the training process. And this is basically all he wants. He just wants to be on your lap and looking into your face adoringly all the time. So meet Norman. Welcome him to the, yeah, that's your name. That's your name. Thank you for the kisses. Um, welcome him to the channel. He's got beautiful blue eyes. He is a blue Merle cardigan Welsh Corgi. Um, they had him listed as a Pembroke Welsh Corgi on his intake paperwork. I don't think the people knew dogs very well because this coat pattern doesn't come in Pembrokes. Um, so he is a cardigan Welsh Corgi. I'm guessing his tail was docked by the people, which is unfortunate because cardigans tend to have long fox tails. Um, but he does just indeed have a little, little nubbin. Uh, so he fits in with sushi very well. I've got two little tailless creatures that are both very short and very chubby. And I feel like they are the exact same creature. So sushi loves him. Um, sushi is my Manx cat and he is essentially a dog in himself. Like his behavior, he's very dog-like. So of course, Norman and Sushi are having the time of their life getting to know each other because I initially was just monitoring the cat interactions. Um, we kept him on a leash for a little bit in the house just to make sure he wouldn't just like chase them. Here, we'll, we'll pan down so you can see more cuteness. There he is. Um, but he would go tearing after Sushi and I would like call him off and he would listen and then Sushi would turn around and start chasing him. So they are essentially the same creature. Good Lord. By the way, this is his constant state of being. No teeth. Um, by the way, he just got neutered. Don't look. We don't need to see that. Um, so this is, this is my life. This right here is great. We don't need to see my face. We only need to see Norman as he chews on my hair. So here he is, the star of the show. So I'll put in some clips of him just being precious and adorable, but uh, this has been what has consumed my entire life recently. He's a lot all the time, if you can't tell, uh, but I'm very excited. We already have a trainer lined up, and if we end up clicking with this trainer, I'm really excited because she does in-home training and like obedience classes and whatnot. She also runs a fully equipped agility facility, um, which I think would be super cool for him to learn because I mean, corgis are working dogs and they're incredibly smart. So he's going to need some stuff to keep him stimulated and uh, keep his brain working. So we're introducing to the goats very slowly. Um, the goats say heck no to him right now, which is understandable. I would too. He's a lot. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a general update. Uh, this is where I've been. I haven't really been reading. I haven't really been doing anything that is worth talking to you guys about except for training this guy. Uh, this has basically been the focus of my life for the past couple weeks. So I wanted to kind of just enjoy the first like baby stages of getting a new dog in the house. Um, and now I'll get back into uh, the swing of filming and making content for you guys because I'm starting to actually settle. We're getting into a routine as he throws himself on the floor. We're getting into a routine um, and I'm starting to read again. So I have stuff to talk to you guys about again. So that's the update. Just wanted to tell you guys about the new man in my life. His name is Norman and he's really short. So hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in my next video.